Hey everybody, this is William Green. This is my Cattleya Rex. I pollinated this plant a year ago. The seed pod has taken 340 days to mature and now it's time to collect the seed. So let's take the pod home and see how to do that. Okay, here I am in the kitchen with the seed pod and it actually came off the plant really easily. I just kind of pulled a little bit and it just peeled right off. And so you can see that it has started to split open. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, little uh, snippers and I'm going to cut off the end here. And then I'm going to leave the uh, seed pod to hang inside this. Now this is like an infusion bag and like a, for making tea or something like that, but it's a really big one. And I'm just going to clip with the this the seed pod so that it kind of hangs in here and just the seeds are going to be able to fall out um, and dry out. Uh, the, the key during this process, uh, as I understand it, is to keep everything as dry as possible. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so hopefully we're not going to have seeds flying everywhere. Okay, so when I did that, it caused it to split a little bit more. But, oh yeah, it looks like it's going to split all the way open now. Wow. Can you see? on all the different sides and then it looks like it's going to split there. Okay. Alright, so if you might be wondering what orchid seed looks like, well, each seed is about the size of a speck of dust. As you can see, there's millions of them in the pod. And so when you collect it, it's just going to look like a little pile of dust. Okay, so I'm using the clip here to just hold the stem of the seed pod and then it's just going to hang in here and it is going to hopefully dry out and pop open and the seeds are just going to fall out. That is the goal. This is the part that I cut off here. This was the original, uh, I think this is called the pistol. This is where I put the pollen a year ago and then it came up and fertilized the plant. So, so that's it. We're just going to wait, I guess, a couple days for this to dry out and hopefully open up. Okay, so we are actually fast forwarding several weeks from what you just saw. So after about, about after about a week of leaving that seed pod hanging in the cup there, um, I ended up with this. And uh, I'm going to just take out a little bit of seed so that you can see what it looks like. I, you saw it kind of floating in the air a minute ago, but... Um, so this is basically what it looks like. It looks like a white or like a yellowish powder, right? And so, um, yeah, the seed just kind of fell out and then I just, you know, collected it in this big tea bag and then I just, you know, fold it up, roll it up, and then I mail it into the laboratory and then they are able to to get it and sow the seeds. So I just also wanted to show you what the seed pod looks like when it's completely dried out. So you know originally it was all one piece like this, right? But um, I kind of tore it apart and you can see there's still some seeds left in there. You know that kind of yellowish stuff around the middle there. And of course there's little bitty seeds everywhere but um, yeah this is this was the seed pod these are all the parts to it and um, and that's it alright so then of course the final piece of the puzzle is did all of this work so what you're looking at now these are images through a microscope of the seed and these are provided by uh, Myers Conservatory and uh, so as you can see, 
there are little green blobs in the microscopic image, which means that there are viable embryos in the seed, which is great. Uh, it turns out about 25% of the seed was viable. So they're going to sow it in the lab, and now the next thing to wait for is germination. So this is how I collected seed from my Cattleya Rex. Hope you enjoyed, hope it was helpful, and uh, we'll see you next time on My Green Pets. Thanks a lot.